How's it guys? So here's the i6x autopilot system um, that I've got in a camo. I've only set up the one bucket for now, but just to show you how the system works. So you can navigate your points of interest with, with this, this uh, stick here. Obviously your accelerator and steering is still here. You can have bucket one, bucket two or spinner. This is going to be the speed of the boat in, in autopilot. This is going to be your saving a target, navigating to a target, and then return if you're not going to use auto return. So, give you an idea. So, the boat's in front of us here. Yeah, let's just turn it around quickly. All right, I'm going to turn it around here. Yeah. Let's say that's going to be our home position. So, we want to save home. So, we're on point zero. Okay, we're going to save home. So, we're going to drop a bucket. We have to mimic dropping a bucket save the location it's now saved go out of save lift the bucket our buckets obviously dropped now at the back but now we want to go to a point of interest so let's let's steer the boat out to the side of the island here just a short little distance for now we'll give a target of further distance shortly so we go that there cool let's make that point number one okay so we over there you can see on the screen so we're going to go to point number one and we're going to save that so we want to drop our rear bucket or we want to do a bucket and the spinner for instance we're going to say rear bucket and we're going to save it on point one it's saved cool that's saved <coughs> now let's take the boat out to let's say 100 meters or so let's give it a Out to the other side of the dam. Ooh. Steering with one hand and filming is not always the easiest. Okay, so we're going to save a point there. We are 50 meters from point one. We are now, let's go to zero. Sorry, point three, point one, two. So we are 71 meters from zero, which is home point, okay? So we want to save that as number two. Now let's go to point two. And we're going to save, once again, we're going to drop our rear bucket. And we're saving that option. It's saved. Go out of it. Cool. So now we can say, return home. Boat's going to come home. We're at our full speed at the moment that I've set up. Here comes the boat. <coughs> it's obviously going to arc because it wants to miss your lines. That's kind of what it's designed to do. So it'll kind of come back into the swim from one side. But if you're going to save home, you want to save it on, on either side of your swim so you don't go back over lines. So she's going to come back into the swim now. And we are nine meters so home was there all right cool so we're back on the spot now let's say we obviously haven't dropped our bucket now we've dropped our bucket because we were saving spots so i'm going to pretend i've now put bait in this thing so let's pause it quickly i'm going to get the bucket back up okay so i've got my bucket back up again i've got bait in it and my line sorted and i want to go to point number point number one Uh, that was that way. Sorry, it's not the best of things to form a screen. Okay, so point number one is 27 meters away. I've got my rear bucket loaded and ready to go. Let me just get the boat away from the duck. All right, and now we say we want to go to point one. We navigate the boat there. There she goes. It's going to go to point one. It's going to drop our bucket. It's going to wait 15 seconds. And then it's going to autopilot back again. Seven meters. It's about there, right? Cool. So it's dropped our bucket, as you can see, automatically. If you had your spinner going, your spinner would be going as well, if you recorded that. So it's going to wait seven seconds. It would drop the payload, spin the bucket for seven seconds. And then after 15, it will wait for your lines to come down. 
and then return home. But like I say, you make home left or right of your swim so it doesn't come back over your lines. So we're still in our navigate mode, so it will return home automatically. There we go. <coughs> Coming back home. Cool. Returned home. So now let's go back out of there. We had the other spot, which was number two. So let's go to spot number two. 72 meters away. We say navigate. It's going to turn the boat around. You can see it slows down as it's kind of getting its bearings. Obviously, our bucket's not up again. I'm not going to bring the boat back in for that. There she goes. She's going to our target point two, which is 66 meters, 62 meters from home. <coughs> And once again, it will do whatever you recorded for that spot. So if I said a bucket and a spinner, it would do both of those options and return home. There it goes out to it. 32, 31 meters from that point. Fifteen meters. Nine meters. There we go, stops. Cool. Once again, it will spin, come back automatically. Alternatively, you don't have to wait. You can just cancel that and say return home. It will come back home. Or, maybe you're baiting up your swims and you've got a whole lot of stops to make. We can say we want to go to point one now, for instance. That was next to the island. And we say let's go to that target now for our next stop. And we're going to navigate there. There she goes. To point. So we're at that 72 or so meters away now. This is going to take it towards the island for us, which is 55 meters from home, or from, from point one, sorry. And that was next to the island, so if she's going in. We're 16 meters, 13 meters, it's more or less there, see there we go, on the spot, and we're going to drop our next payload, whatever we're doing, and that's it, done. Now we say come home, <coughs> I think there might be something lying in the water there, hopefully we miss it, yeah. and home is back that way. Four meters, spot on. What more do you need, really? Huh? Great. And then once again, also, if your if your remote had to fail, for instance, I don't know if I set this one up. I think I did. Let's take it out. Let's say you're driving a boat along and something happens. Your remote dies or whatever. It'll turn the boat home bring it back to its home position so you can obviously retrieve it. So you can see the remote is off now. Let's bring that boat back to our home position. There you go. And remote's still off. Cool chaps, give me a call if you need one. I installed it in all boats and have many options for you, fish finder wise and everything.